Oscar from 358, Stevie. Did you report the disturbance? It sounded as if someone was getting killed. Right, stay there, please. Sarge, doors open. Sarge, the Sierra Oscar from 358. Urgent message. Go ahead, Gary. Ambulance, please. Bagford Road. Mail Can you hear me? Sergeant Boyd and Son Hill. He's trying to kill me. Who was? Leo. Leo who? He's meant to be in Spain. I'll check out the back. Right. Listen to me. Leo who? Morrison. Who are you? Sergeant Boyd and Son Hill. Why did this Leo attack you? I think it's broke me arm. Well, an ambulance is on its way. Have you any idea why this might have happened? Because I'm an idiot. Why did he do this to you? I'm sleeping with his wife. Here we go. Leo Morrison. Couple of common assaults. Likes well, a bit of a rap, does he? Used to. According to this, he's been straight for a while. Nothing since he's left Nick. Until today. Quite. Hang about. Look at this last one. ABH. Look at the arresting officer was. Can you cast your mind back two years? Two years? Leo Morrison, ABH, fighting a pub. Yeah, I know, Leo. Big bloke, short fuse, in and out of trouble. And you nicked him? Hmm. Somebody insulted his wife and he put the guy in hospital. Jan, Jill... Jill. That's it? Yeah, he's all right, Leo. He means well. Last I heard, he was in Spain bricklaying. Well, we think he's back on the scene. We're after him for an assault. Well, I can find him for you, Matthew. No problem. No, it's all right, Don. I'm up here for information. I can find it, thanks. Matthew! I'm your man for information. I know his wife. What, you know Jill? Yeah, well, sort of. Um, I've got this snout used to hang around with Leo. We'll talk to Jill, have Leo banged up by lunchtime. Susie, do you want to come along? Yeah, sure. Wait a minute, this is a uniform investigation. We know that, Matthew. Just need a helping hand, right? I think I've changed my mind. Oh, seriously, Matt. You might as well visit Jill, yeah? All right, you do that. In the meantime, we'll look for Leo. Who knows? Maybe we'll find him without your help. Maybe. But I doubt it. Emma? June. Enrico, put the word around. Leo Morrison, suspect in assault on Bagford Road. That's his description. Right, Sarge. All units from Sierra Oscar, attention requested to a Leo Morrison, IC-130. Short hair. Yeah, Mike, Debbie, what are you up to? Just on my way. Were you listening to the message? Leo Morrison. Hmm. Right, we'll spread the word. There's a bottle of scotch in it, whoever gets to me before CID. Oh, a single malt whiskey, Sarge? Just find him, will you? Yeah, OK. The canal. In one hour. Don't be late, Tommy. Jill's moved, apparently. Leo found out that Chris was doing the dirty with her. And he did his nuts. And Chris is? An old mate of Leo's. And your snipe knows where to find Leo, does he? He's going to ask around for us. Leo's probably still looking for his wife. Tommy reckons it'll be easy to track him down. And in the meantime? And in the meantime, he's given us Jill's new address, so we go around and talk to her. It's all very simple, Susie. Sarge, do you really know Jill? Friend of a friend. I know Tommy. Tommy knows Jill. So why are you so keen? I mean, it's just a domestic. I'm just trying to catch up with Leo before he gets into any more trouble, that's all. And? And didn't you see Sergeant Boyden's face? It was beautiful. So this is all about winding him up? <laughs> Everyone needs a hobby, Susie. Ah, Jill. Remember me? No, should I? Um, um... Detective Sergeant Beach, friend of Tommy Wood. This is WDC Croft, Sun Hill. Um, can we talk? Why? It's about Leo. Sorry, he doesn't live here. Uh, look, Jill, we know that. We just want to talk to you about him, that's all. Hey, come on, be nice. You're not in any trouble. Come in. Thank you. I don't know if I can help you. Yeah, sit down. So, when did you last see Leo, Jill? 
I'll make it simple. He's out working in Spain and I've left him, okay? We're looking for him in connection with an assault this morning on Chris Darrow. What, he's here? Um, how's Chris? Yeah, he's okay. Broken arm, few bruises. Uh, Jill, we think Leo's looking for you. I knew this would happen. I wrote to him, I told him it was over. When did you write to him? Last month. I wrote and told him that I was having an affair with Chris, that I've moved and that I wanted to shot of him. That must have been a bit of a shock to him. Well, what does he expect? He's never here. Well, Chris has his fault, Jill, but... Jill, look, I'm sorry, but we're not that interested in the romantic details. Uh, we just want to know where Leo is, that's all. I don't know. Look, he's nothing to do with me, not anymore. Look at this. He sends me junk like this. This is what he's like. He's trying to find you. What do you think he might do next? He'll ask our friends, I don't know. Look, he's a sweet guy. I married him after all. But he's out of my life now. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. We understand, all right. But I don't think Leo does. 100 yards down there on Mike. the line. Excuse me. Red shirt. Do you drink scotch? Sierra Oscar 3 from 561. Yeah, go ahead, Deb. Sarge, we're in the Water Street Mall and we've just seen a suspect within the description of Leo Morrison. Brilliant. Listen, Deb, hang back. Don't approach him unless you have to. We're on our way, all right? Gary, let's go. In a minute, sir. Now! Don't do it again, right? Oh, no. They're off. What's she doing? She followed him. He said to wait. I know. They'll see us coming. We have to. I'm going. I'm going to do it for a minute, mate. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to leave this. Oi, stop! Come here. What are you doing? I ain't done nothing, you silly... Calm down, mate. You're after him, you're not after me, are you, you silly mug? Listen, I'm trying to tell you, you little dipstick, I'm not your man. It's cool, all right? Are you in charge of this monkey? You can shut up and all. Mike? Yeah, well, Mikey is really messed up, isn't he? Deborah's gone after Leo, Sarge. This prat got in the way. Prat? Listen, I'm Tommy Wood. Does that mean anything, Tommy Wood? I thought you were supposed to be just watching. Yeah, sorry, sir. Well, why didn't you get after Leo? Listen, listen, you don't want me. Am I getting through to you? Look, I'm warning you. No, no, you. no, hold it. And I've got an appointment with Mr. Beach and I want to see you. OK? Sarge. Gone. You lost him. Brilliant. Yeah, you're in real trouble now, aren't you? Pratt, eh? I'm warning you, you do that one more time. What, that? Right, you're nicked. What for? Breathing. Oh, don't be fair. What? Oh, great. When did this happen? All right, I'll be there in 15 minutes. They've nicked him. What the hell did you arrest Tommy Wood for? Being obnoxious in a public place. We're releasing when he's cooled off. Look, I had an appointment with him. 20 minutes I was hanging around like a muppet. Not my problem. No problem. I'll tell you what is your problem. You lost Leo Morrison. Standing right in front of you, I heard. Well, I thought you were supposed to have him locked up by lunchtime. Well, if you're so smug about it, Matthew, how about a little bet on it? Sorry. I don't do bets. Oh, well, if you don't rate your chances, that's all right. All right, I'll go at Senna. That you don't have him by the end of the day. A tenner? Tenner? We don't do tenners where I come from. Fifty. Come on, Sarge. I said I don't do bits. Well, if you're scared, Matthew, it's all right. All right. Fifty. Done. Come on, let's go, Susie. I should have your lot for a wrongful arrest. Yeah, it's been a pleasure knowing you. Huh, pleasure's all mine, I'm sure. Shut up, Tommy. Come on. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Well, what's all that about then, Mr Beach? I'm out there trying to help you, and then a gang of your plots are pushing me around. Well, maybe you just got on their nerves, OK? Now, what have you got to tell me? Well, I found Leo for you, didn't I? Well, not exactly. What was he doing in the shopping centre? Did you get an address for him? There's a guy who runs a florist there, Harvey Cook. He's a good mate of Leo and Jill's, best man at their wedding. Well, I'll go to ask about Leo. Leo's already there. <sighs> Tommy, did you get an address? Well, I was about to. You're being a lot of help, you know. Uh, but I have got something to tell, though. Oh, yeah. This isn't just about Jill playing away. This is big, you know. Oh, yeah. All right, look, you're going to get your usual, hmm? So just talk to us. Well, the word is, that joke Chris has got a scam going. He's got Jill involved in it. 
What a sort of scam. Well, let me put it like this. Chris Darrow runs errands for Tony Gray, right? Yeah. Well, you know what Gray deals in, don't you? No. Drugs. Interested now, aren't you? <laughs> You haven't told me anything yet. Maybe this Grey is involved, maybe drugs are involved. Well, it's not for me to investigate, is it? So, uh, how does Leo fit into all of this, then? Well, first Leo is when Harvey told him. Well, it's seething. You know, Leo, he thinks the world of Jill doesn't want to mess up in drugs, right? Thinks he's some sort of white knight charging in and fixing Jill's life up for her. So he reckons he can get her back by doing this. He's not going to confront Grey, surely? <sighs> Who knows? Look, Leo doesn't know what he's involved in. Nor does Jill, really. What a mess. No, no, I don't have to sort it out. We haven't got enough to arrest Jill, have we? The station's the safest place for her if she's mixed up with this bloke Gray. You saw his record. Do you really think Tommy's on the level? Yeah, definitely. Look, this isn't just about winding Matthew Boyden up anymore. Hey, Matt. What's this I hear about you offering a bottle of scotch to whoever catches Leo Morrison? That's right. We're after him for an assault. Nothing to do with your tiff with Don Beach. How'd you know about that? Little bird told me. Try not to get beat by the brains department, eh? You finished that. Jill! Look upstairs, Susan. Jill! Jill! She left in a hurry. Hmm. Oh, she was forced out. He's just a little. Right, thanks. I'm Detective Sergeant Beach. And this is WDC Croft, son here. I've already spoken to your people. You haven't been quite straight with us, have you? What do you mean? Tell us about the drugs. Drugs? Don't mess me about. You work for Tony Gray, right? I do some jobs for Tony. Who deals in drugs? He deals in sports equipment. And somehow you've got Jill Morrison involved. You've seen Jill? Is she all right? Why shouldn't she be? You've seen her? No. She's gone missing. Come on, Chris, if you're worried about her, why don't you tell us what's going on? Look, it's possible. I'm not saying anything, but it's possible that Tony Gray could be looking for Jill because me and Tony had a sort of falling out. What sort of falling out? Is she in danger? Because we'd like to help her. That's all I can say. Oh, come on, Chris. Look, just find her. Just find her before Gray does. Why? Because he's liable to kill her. All right. And why would he want to do that? I mean it. I can't tell you anything. All right. Then we're going to have to find someone else who can, aren't we? All units from Sierra Oscar, Ponder's Wine Bar, Dello Road, a disturbance. Informant of Mr Locke, he's the owner. Any unit deal? Sierra Oscar for the 358. Show us Dean and Larika. Mr Cook, WDC Croft, DS Beach, Sun Hill. Can we have a word, please? About? About two friends of yours. Leo and Jill Morrison? Look, do you know where Leo is? Not a clue, I'm afraid, no. <clears throat> I saw him this morning, but... What about Jill? Do you know where she is? I'd really like to help you. Oi, right, look, Mr Cook, could you please stop doing that for a minute? You were best man to Jill and Leo, right? Four years ago. Yeah. Well, they could be in trouble. They may need our protection. I think we'd better go inside. Thanks. I told her to have nothing to do with that, Chris Darrow. This is his fault. Oh? How's that then? Well, he got some stuff off of Tony Gray. What sort of stuff? I don't know. All I know is it definitely weren't aspirin. He and Jill were going to sell it. And there's all this stuff now. I expect Jill's still got it. She's probably still hoping to sell it. <laughs> she thinks this is her shortcut, some quick money. That's if Leo lets her. Well, what could he do about it? Well, stop her. See, Leo can't stand drugs. I know he's been in trouble in the past, but that's just his temper. 
I gave him her new address. He said he was going straight round there. Well, if she's with him, at least we know she's safe. No, no. We know that Leo would never harm her. He just wants to make her give the drugs back to Grey. Give them back? Yeah. Well, he thinks it's the best option. That way he gets Grey off his back and stays out of trouble with your lot. Oh, great, yeah. Except that Chris Darrow says Grey's gonna kill them both. What? Why? I think it's about time we had a word with Mr Grey, don't you? Thanks. Mr. Locke, that's right. I'm afraid he got away. He was beating her up. All right, take it slowly. What happened? Well, she came in and met a man. A tall man in a suit. They, they were just talking, that's all. Then suddenly he was shouting at her. This is out of nowhere. He was leaning in her face, and I was thinking, should I say something? When he hit her, slapped her right in the face and told her he'd kill her. Out of nowhere. And what did you do? Well, I called you straight off. Then I told him. I didn't like to tackle him. He was a big man. But I told him I'd called you. Well, fair enough. He did the right thing. What did he look like? Well, he was white. Age? He was about 35. Big, six foot, dark hair and this grey suit. Right, thanks. First aid, sir. He hit me. He was going to kill me. That's all right. Just take it easy. He's gone now. Let's just start with your name, shall we? Are you going to arrest me? What for? I had some drugs. Um, heroin. I was going to sell it. Please, he'll find me. You've got to help. And you are? Jill. Jill Morrison. What? Leo Morrison's wife? Yeah. I saw, um... I saw someone this morning. Sergeant Beach? Yeah, well... I'm afraid Detective Sergeant Beach isn't available at the moment. I'm sure I'll be able to help you. What exactly are we expecting to achieve here, Sarge? It's the only lead we've got left. Well, Gray isn't going to tell us anything. Well, he doesn't have to know we're after him for the drugs, does he? He'll just think that we're looking for Jill and Leo. Trust me, I'll wing it. Excuse me. We're looking for Tony Gray. I think he's popped out. Sarge. Oh, Tony Gray? Yeah, that's me. He must have popped back in, mustn't he? Um, Detective Sergeant Beach, this is WDC Croft, Sun Hill. What's up? We've got a shoplifter. Actually, we want to talk to you about Chris Darrow. Oh. He works for you, right? Used to. I sacked him. Oh, any particular reason? Every reason. Unreliable, always late, waste of space. And when was all this? A couple of days ago. Why was he done? Well, that's what's been done to him, actually. He's in hospital. Sorry to hear that. And we're looking for the bloke that put him there. Leo Morrison. You might have heard of him. No, never heard of him. How about his wife, Jill? Can't help you there either, sorry. But she used to go out with Chris. Surely you've heard of her. I just said, didn't I? I've never heard of him. I'd like to help with your inquiries, but I really am rather busy. Look, we're not finished with you yet, Mr Gray. Are you sure you never heard of Leo Morris? Look, what is this all about? I've answered all your questions. Now, if there's anything else you want to ask... ...nothing else? Drugs, Tony. We think that you are involved in some sort of drugs deal with Jill Morrison and Chris Darrow. Don't know any Jill Morrison. I don't believe you. I think you do. And I think you don't know anything. So maybe you better just come back when you know what you're talking about. Don't worry. I will. Bye. There you go. Thanks. Right, so Tony Gray. What's he got to do with this? Chris Darrow got some drugs from him. I thought he'd bought them, but he didn't. He stole them. That doesn't sound very clever. And he never told me that they were stolen. Chris said Gray was sending us down to the clubs in Brighton to sell the stuff. I thought it was a perfect way to make a fresh start. Perfect. And then Leo came back from Spain and found out what was happening. He uh, turned up and dragged me out of my own flat. Did he hurt you? Are you joking? Well, Leo would never hurt me. He was trying to make me see sense. And he's right, isn't he? I've messed up. There you go. So Chris stole the stuff for you and him to sell, and now you want to give it back to Grey? Well, I didn't know it was stolen. And that's what you were doing in the wine bar? <sighs> Leo hates anything to do with drugs. Sensible. So he was going to find Grey, throw the stuff on the table, and tell him what he could do with it. Well, I know what it sounds like, but I wanted to talk to Gray first. Well, just apologise, at least in advance, and tell him I couldn't do any deals for him. 
Well, when I saw Gray, he went mad and time of the stuff had been stolen. Leo was right. I should never have gone near anything involving Chris. Or drugs. How much heroin are we talking about? Um, not much. Chris said it was a quarter of a pound. Only 15 grand's worth. I just had it in my mind, this idea of starting again. And Chris, when he wants to, we can switch on the charm. Well, it just seemed... It's all right, Jill. Just take your time. Leo was away so long. I wish he'd never left. Leo's got the drugs now? Well, yeah, um... He's got to go to this... Oh, God. Well, that's all right, Jill. I mean, we can pick up Leo and then we can go and arrest Gray. You don't understand. Well, what? Well, we set up this meeting with Gray. Leo's gonna give the stuff back and he still doesn't know it's stolen. When is this meeting? Um, it's at half past one at my flat. Ten minutes. Wait there. We could set up an obo at Gray's place. We're right back where we started. Only now we've lost Jill as well as Leo. Only Sergeant Boyden can't be doing any better. This way. Tony Gray, isn't it? Yeah. What's in there? A pair of trainers? It's not mine. Can I have a look in the box, please? I told you it's not mine. It's his drugs. I only wanted to give them back to him. Ironic, that, isn't it, Tony? You're nicked. What for? Conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Gary? Yeah, come on. I want to see a solicitor. You will, back at the station. Leo, we've been looking for you all day. Yeah. Well, it's been a long day. I only got off the plane this morning. Welcome back to Britain. <laughs> Thanks. I'm arresting you for assault. I just done you a favour! Sergeant Boyden's just through there, so I've... I'm gonna love this. <clears throat> Mr. Beach? Leo? Of course. You're old friends, aren't you? It's quite a haul you've got here, Matthew. Not a bad day's work. Nothing by CID standards, of course. Pity you couldn't find Jill, though. Oh, no. We've got her, too. Oh, well, looks like you've won the bet, eh? Don, do you think I'd take money off you? Damn right I would. Fifty quid, please. Hey, you remember that breach of bail, Malcolm Hobbs? Double or nothing. Ha, ha, ha.